Hi everybody, Indiana Caver here, and I'm gonna do a little uh, fire starter demo. Um, this has uh, been on been on YouTube. I've seen it in different places. Haas USMC has done it, and I think BC Trucks done it. And I just wanted to do my own video of it. And basically, it's using petroleum jelly. Uh, you can get this at uh, all your big box stores and uh, pharmacies and stuff like that. Uh, just got the generic stuff. No reason to buy the good stuff, but uh, just basic petroleum jelly and cotton balls. And uh, you coat the cotton ball in petroleum jelly and you get a fire starter. So let's, uh, I won't go ahead and demonstrate. It's pretty easy. Um, the best thing you do can do is just do, do a lot of them. Um, like in my Altoids can here, I was able to pack in nine. So I did all nine at the same time. You're going to get your fingers messy. That's what I found the best way to do it. You just uh, go ahead and agree to get petroleum jelly on your fingers and, and look some in there it really starts to work it in pretty good um, you know, I don't think you need a whole lot but just enough so you can tell that you've got some work into it and it's uh, it gets in there and like I said you're gonna get petroleum jelly on it on you um, so uh, you might as well do a lot of them while you're at it so that's basically it um, just keep the cotton ball nice and compact there and uh, I'll set the petroleum jelly to the side and uh, clean my fingers off a little bit sorry about that one of the key things to uh, using this if you try and light it like this with a flint and steel it's probably not going to work um, you need to get some of that cotton broke up so there we go get some of those fibers out and with that petroleum jelly in there, it'll burn really good. So that's probably good enough. And uh, I used my flint and steel earlier to do this, so we'll see if I can uh, do this again. There we go. And so we're off and running. You can see that that uh, flames up really nice. And uh, as long as you have your tinder and kindling and everything available it uh, works pretty good and uh, like I said I got nine of them into my Altoids can you could probably pack them in there pretty tight and get a get a few more in there actually there's 12 in there um, so uh, I got 12 of them in my Altoids can one of the things it's not waterproof um, so I thought well what if I was on the uh, overnight river trip and really wanted a uh, uh, to light a fire and, the, and these got wet for some reason which is you know, a possibility um, move this one out of the way and you can see how long it burns it burned pretty good so if you had if you had some twigs and stuff some kindling to get that started with it would work uh, it work really good so to simulate getting wet I went ahead and really got some water had a rock to soak this down so this soaked in some water I'm just gonna wring it out as best I can and I got matches here as a backup because I want to see I want to see if this lights with matches if it doesn't light with a flint so this is pretty wet I I don't think this is gonna work I just I don't see it working um, although there might be some dry stuff down in here and I had that, yeah, there is some dry stuff down there. So, I had it in there for probably 10 minutes, um, sitting on a rock. Um, so if it didn't get really wet, if it didn't get dunked, that might simulate the river, getting wet on the river. So I got some stuff made up there, so. We'll go ahead and give this a try again. Almost. All right, doesn't look really good. So you want to make sure you keep your tinder dry. Let me go with the old standby here. Let 
Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Well, you can see the one over there that stayed dry. It's still going. And, uh... I've got a little bit of flame in there, but... If we can get enough flame to dry it out... Which I don't think is going to happen. And it's burning a little bit, but it sure would be worth keeping it dry, I think. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's burning a little bit. Uh, but I think the lesson learned is you probably want to keep these dry, so maybe I'll slip this into a little Ziploc bag or something just to make sure. All right, thanks guys, that's it. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I think the Vaseline cost me four bucks for the generic stuff or the store brand stuff, and the cotton balls cost me a buck and a half or two bucks. So I probably have a couple of hundred fire starters for six or seven bucks. All right. There you go. Thanks.